Greco, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. And uh, all day, been talking about my main man coming on the show. And in fact, my main man is here, and it's Jay White. Jay, how uh, you doing? Uh, 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 th- I'm your main man, huh? Yes, of course. Mm. Of yeah, course. Me, me, me and you are close like that, huh? I guess you know, that's how you managed to get me to give you, give you this time. I know you wanted... He wanted me to be on video as well, but I think yes. uh, getting this this sweet exotic accent on audio is more than enough than uh, more than you deserve anyway. So here well, you go, you're welcome. You know, you've got a, we got a very nice picture of you up right now. You look shredded, a beard's mm. looking awesome. Yeah, and, that sounds accurate then. Yeah. Hey, you know, Jay, I you know I did mention you're my main man, but let's let's be honest here. But I will say this: Do you know that about um, I think it would be about nine, ten years ago now, eight or nine years ago. You were on our show with myself and Dave Meltzer, and uh, you were a young 22, 23-year-old kid, and you came on the show, and man, you talked about, I'm going to go to New Japan, and I'm going to kill it, and I'm going to end up the IWGP champion, and I remember listening to the interview, and I thought, man, you know, this guy, like, he's got some aspirations here, and now here you are on this program, and you literally, you literally have done it all in New Japan. And did, uh, did, you, did you learn your lesson from that? Is that you should? Have I didn't to doubt all. you. And so anything that comes out of this mouth, you might as well take as gospel. But sorry, yes. continue as you were. Uh, no, I did not doubt you one bit. Ooh. But uh, you oh, achieved. Good. You achieved. And yeah, uh, I mean, personally, I don't remember that. But I mean, it's obviously it sounds pretty accurate. It sounds like something I would have said because it's obviously something I ended up doing as well. Yes. Now, now, obviously, this weekend you will be uh, wrestling Battle in the Valley 2023, and yes, uh, yes this is this is uh, a full time excursion now to America because uh, unfortunately, you were uh, defeated in a loser leaves Japan match. And uh, and you're gone. And obviously the future is uh, whatever the future is going to be. But thoughts on uh, heading to America for this show and this match with Eddie? That's a very, very interesting time for Switchblade J.Y., isn't it? The future isn't going to look like the uh, other passes look for me anymore with Japan now seemingly in the rearview mirror. But New Japan Strong is still very much open to me. And, you know, you mentioned Eddie. He's coming over to the show that I've built. That's my baby Strong. I'm the father. I'm the daddy of New Japan Strong. And I've uh, been a little bit tired of how Eddie's been conducting himself uh, on New Japan Strong. He First, he stood me it's up. disgusting. Back in, yeah, exactly. He stood me up in Las Vegas, I think. And then he had the, uh, the goal to try and say it was he was sick. Everybody knows they were simply scared. So I had to go out of my way and go to his hometown of New York and teach him a lesson there, which I did, like I said I would do. And now he's going to get another opportunity, another opportunity to have his moment with a Japanese wrestling legend, the, maybe the greatest one of them all, Switchblade Jay White. And I'm just hoping that Eddie realizes how big this moment is in front of him right now because – these moments, although he seems to be getting a chance at them time and time again, it's not going to keep being like that. Arguably this, undeserved. Well, ex- exactly, exactly. I'm I'm doing him a big favor here. Everybody's talking about Jay White. Nobody's talking about Eddie Kingston anymore. Just like he had to leech off Mox to get his relevance, he's now trying to find somebody else that he can leech off. But that's me because he sees that I'm the hottest topic in professional wrestling. And so Eddie Kingston, like the parasite that he is, is just trying to suck off some of that relevance. And you know what? Just from simply being in the ring with me, people are going to start talking about him again. So, and that's just a result of being in there with the catalyst of professional wrestling, Brian. Jay, do you ever get tired of people like Brian Alvarez and Dave Meltzer oh, who God. seemingly are sinking their teeth into you? It's the same way Brian is right now by trying to buddy up to you right now. I mean, how do you feel coming over here to the States now that you may have a chance to maybe even confront some of these people? You know, how do you feel about these people that are just taking your name and trying to buddy up to it now and trying to slime get up out to of you here. now that you're here in the this States? This guy could be a star it's, anywhere. This, this is exactly the type of stuff that I expect. Whoever you are, whatever you're saying, I'm not sure what your name is either but this is exactly, exactly what i'd expect from him buttering up and now you try to do the exact same thing from your position mr whoever you are but would i like to come over and maybe sit them straight no, because that would be a simple waste of my time i get it people are going to talk people are going to make up lies and try to spread them like truths like you guys love to do about myself but hey as long as you're talking about me i'm absolutely fine with it 
You know, I, I saw an interview that you did, and uh, this is this is off topic, but uh, I have to ask this question. Did Tanahashi really break two, three teeth eating a protein bar? Uh, so I had no idea until I happened to see a replay on a screen backstage, and I, was, I thought, what the oh, – oh, sorry, what the heck – is wrong with uh, Tanahashi's mouth. And then there was somebody uh, next to me that uh, could uh, let me know that apparently he bit into a protein bar earlier in the day and he has three, I believe, fake teeth that fell out when that happened. Uh, and when I saw him at commentary, I had no idea because, of course, he had the mask on the whole time. But, yeah, so that that happened. So I believe if you go back if you go back to that show, I'm sure that the entire his, his entire match with Kenta, I think you, were, you had a, uh, a toothless Tanahashi there. Well, you know, Tanahashi is getting a shot at the uh, the title this hey, coming Brian, weekend. Brian, Brian, yes, Dom. Brian, um, it's a very important thing. I, I mention all the time how you guys are getting old and you're losing your damn minds. Uh, I've, I've got your guest ready, Brian. My guest is on the air. Where? On. He's no, on no, the air? No, he's not. He's right, he's right here. Oh, it's up a beat. What are you guys doing now? <laughs> See, is this, who's this, on the is, air? Is this the type of thing I have to expect to put up with over in the States now? Well, who's that? Hello? Your, your, your guest, Eddie Kingston, is right here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I just want to hear Jay talk. Keep going, Jay. Okay, Keep going, guys. My New Zealand brother. Guys, Keep talking, I get man. it. I right, guys, let me let me uh, let me straighten out all of this confusion for you here. I think I know what's happened. Look, I think uh, Eddie, you were meant to be on tomorrow, buddy. But guys, that that's on us. We can't expect Eddie to know one how to tell time, two the date, or three how to put the two together. So. Eddie, we apologize. That's on us, pal. But you're tomorrow. Eddie, Eddie, I want to welcome you to the show. My main man, Eddie Kingston, is here. And uh, I want to give you both an opportunity to uh, to talk with each other. But we are on uh, over-the-air radio, so if you could avoid swearing uh, so we don't have to uh, get rid of anybody, that'd be great. Eddie, uh, what's going on? Oh, no, I'm good. I want Jay to talk. Uh, make me laugh, clown. Come on. <laughs> As well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. If it, wasn't, if it wasn't the fact that you're struggling with the date and time, I can only assume that the only reason that you've called up to interrupt my time is like I was saying, you're trying to leech off the relevance of Switchblade Jay White right now. But I think you must be calling up to thank me, to thank me for giving you the opportunity of a lifetime to step into the ring with one of your idols, a Japanese wrestling legend, Switchblade Jay White and Battle in the Valley. So please, Eddie, take it away. Let me know you thank you. Eddie, is he one of your idols? Oh, is this is true? He, is he done talking? Is he done talking? I'm sorry. I was just smoking a joint. I wasn't really paying attention. Well, is he, is he good? Is he done now? Well, I, I believe good. he's giving he you done? an opportunity here. That's about Please. what? About what? Him being what? An idol? An idol? Man, let me tell you something, Jay. Let me let me keep it real thorough with you right now. Uh -huh. Jay, you're one of the best wrestlers in the world, dog. You know this. That's the that's a blind fact. But you ain't no idol of mine, man. You're competition, dog. You're one of my peers. Don't ever think you're better than me, huh? Because I tell you right now, dog, I'd rather fight you outside, but if you wanna make money which a lot of people in this business don't know how to do, if you wanna make money, then let's do it, dog. I have no problem beating this dude who almost cursed. I have no problem beating you up in the ring, but don't call yourself my idol, man. You know who my idols are, dog. Don't play like we don't talk before you turn this little uh, switchblade, you know, crap on. Don't this act like we ain't, we ain't really friends, dog, or we were friends before you started is... acting up. Oh, this don't is think amazing. that I didn't know you when you were a dojo boy. Don't play games oh. with me. I got yes. 21 years in. You got 10. Show some respect, dog. Don't be stupid Idiot. like half the locker room in AEW. Idiot. Be right, man. Be a man. Idiot. No, I'm not done speaking. I'm not done Idiot. speaking. Be quiet. Respect your elders, huh? Respect that your elders, B. All right, I'm not none of these other d dudes that you fought in Japan, in New Japan, or anywhere in your career, B. I'm the dude that don't care. I don't care if Rocky fires me. I don't care if Tony Khan fires me. Because I'm going to make money regardless. So don't try to play me like you're, just, like you're trying to do now with the idol crap. You feel me? You, you understand what I'm saying? This is some real life thorough, you know, stuff right here, B. Don't I play don't with me, Jay. Don't play say, with me. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm done hearing you talk. Don't oh. play with me. You understand what I'm saying? Now you can speak, dog. Now you can talk. I'm going to allow thank you. you to speak now, huh? Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. You say you say real. You say pairs. Let me be really real with Mr. Real Eddie Kingston. 
You think you're 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 one of my peers of competition? You th- that would that would be insinuating that you're somewhere on the same level as me. I don't. Let me be really real with you. I don't care how long you've been doing it, 21 years to my 10, whatever it is. You could have been doing this for a century. Look at what you've done in your time and look at what I've done in my time. Grand Slam champion, baby. Single-handedly sold out Madison Square Garden, a place in your home city oh, that you could only dream of. You're going to mention New York. You're going to mention New York. You're going to try to play me with New York. Pardon me? You're going to try to play me with that. Exactly. Look, you know what I mean? You want to keep it real? Do you think you were Okada that sold the place out, Look at what I've done in the short amount of time. That's what puts me miles and miles and miles ahead of you. And that battle in the valley, you talk about making money. I'm all about that. I'm about to make you a bucket load of money at battle in the valley, son. Oh, son, son, son. (laughs) So you're going to, all right, all right, check it. You know what, man? Did you want to talk about? You're going to make me money. Let's make this really interesting, dog. Let's make this really interesting. Since you can't wrestle in Japan anymore, because my man Hikaleo took care of you. Yo, what up, man? Much love, much respect. He took care of you. How about this, dog? How about we just finish it? How about we just finish it? If I beat that ass, which I will, if I beat a former IWGP champion, Right, and you supposedly put me on the map, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How about you never wrestle for New Japan again? Oh, if I beat when I beat you, you never wrestle for New Japan again. Okay, I, I, I see what you're putting now, and uh, you know, Eddie, I don't got much else left to lose other than that, and I'm all about making the stakes higher because nobody. Nobody performs under pressure like myself. So you know what, Eddie? That sounds that sounds just yeah. great to me. But I'm going to need you to put up something as well. So how about I'll agree to that if you, Eddie, you do the same. When I beat you, teach you your lesson and give you your moment. You can never compete in a New Japan ring or against or with any New Japan talent ever again and how about we put in a little bit of fine print in that you can do that on one condition yeah, okay. you you have to come and get permission from me everybody in the chat is begging me to end this call so this doesn't actually go through but uh eddie no 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 no, no. let's 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 hear no, 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 when no, i no, beat no, no, him no, no, he can't compete in the new no, japan no, no. ring against or with any new japan talent unless he comes to switch play jay white gets on his knees looks up to me and begs me and then maybe i'll give him permission and that's when he'll be allowed really to you it. think you think i'm gonna beg you dog i don't beg <laughs> god for forgiveness you think i'm gonna beg you fine bro it's on it's a deal it's a deal oh, let's do it let's do it dog i got no fear and let me tell you something no when you're done with new japan don't come to aew i'm telling you that right now because you're not one of the favorites you're not one of the pillars so that means you're going to be stuck with me and i'm going to beat that ass there too so do not come to aew and when i'm done with you and new japan you're welcome i'm getting rid of this let's go Let's go. Uh, we are heading to a break, and uh, I will be back with Mike when we uh, when we return. I take no responsibility for any of this. Wrestling Observer Knock, Live. knock. Who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. (laughs) We Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. It's we barely made it home. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. (laughs) Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a doodle. (laughs) <laughs> what? what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> what? See, what? These, these, what? These are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.